Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you today. This is a repair video. Very simple one, but we figured we'd videotape it because it's kind of neat. We've got this jukebox here that we're working on, which is an R93, I believe. Let me check. It's a row. Let me make sure I've got this right. I don't want to mislead you. Hmm. I saw a label somewhere. Where did I see that? Yes, R93. Okay, this is a row R93. As you can see. And it had this really neat um, look to it. Now, right now, it doesn't really look all that neat. It looks kind of rough, right? So we're going through and we're getting all of its cosmetics going again. So we're getting all the light bulbs to work, all that. And one of the neatest things about this machine is right here in the middle, we've removed it, but it has this little mirror ball that turns and it has a bunch of little lights that shine on it and that has this neat effect that looks really cool this would have came out in probably 87 88 something like that maybe a little little later than that so here's the assembly that we removed we'll walk it over here and put it on the shelf on the table check this out so that goes up in there and when we got it and we tested it the mirror ball actually turns but none of the little light bulbs were working. And so you get stuff like that in a lot where little minor stuff like that they've really ignored, you know? So it is our goal to get that working at least somewhat like it did originally. So you can see the way the mirror ball works is there's just a little motor on the end uh, with a little plug. And then there's this other plug that basically sends the... Uh, voltage to the light bulbs and so the light bulbs as you can see are different colored bulbs all around the edge they're kind of faded and things like that but we're going to leave that and uh, basically the way it works is the voltage comes in and then it's split up through these three different boards so on this side you've got a board with three bulbs on this side you've got a board with three bulbs and on the top you've got a, bo a board with six bulbs and those represent the ones that you can see on the uh, inside that's visible through the front and so basically they have these little uh, connectors these little twist things and a bunch of them are missing that fell out or whatever over the years so if you remove one and they're kind of brittle because they're old it's just a little bulb with a little twist thing now if you're not if you haven't seen one of these all this is is the same thing that's on an instrument cluster in a lot of cars and when I say a lot of cars I mean like 80 percent of cars so the size the thing you need to get is the right bulb and the right holder because we've got some missing so basically uh, the bulb on this is marked number 73 which is a uh, dash indicator light on a car. So it runs off of 12 volts, just like a car battery puts out, um, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what they used on this machine. Now the little holders are the, the same holders that hold the bulbs in on a car. They might look a little different, but they work the same. Basically you've got a hole, you twist the little connector into it, which makes those two metal prongs, the two gold prongs there, Whenever you twist it, it makes it where one's touching this side and one's touching that side, which is how it powers the bulb. And the, the size of this connector is T5, which is basically just the base of the bulb. It's called a T5. So we got on good old eBay, and we couldn't find parts for an R93 jukebox, but wouldn't you know it, they have plenty of bulbs for the indicator light on your dash, right? And wouldn't you know it, they have plenty of T5 bulb holders for the indicator lights on your dash, the illumination lights and things. So uh, we were able to figure them out. Somebody must have heard about this video and they're calling to see uh, what, uh, what the next video is. But what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna ignore the phone. 
we're going to fix up all of those uh, connectors and I'm going to clean these uh, contacts to make sure that it makes good contact and then we're going to twist the, our new ones in and then I'm actually going to check the, the continuity from this side to this side to make sure that I'm getting the same uh, reading that the bulb does. I've already checked these new bulbs and it's got 15 ohms resistance so if I, if I check between here and there with that holder in I should get 15 ohms of resistance letting me know that it's making good contact. And so once I get all three of these boards all rigged up with just the right stuff and just the right bulbs we're going to put it back in and see what happens so I will film that video. Be right back. Alright so we've mounted it back in there. There's just three or four little bolts that hold it in. I've got the lights off because we're going to turn it on and show you what it looks like in the dark. So there it is installed. Let's see if our bulbs work. Check that out. Very cool. I'm going to fill this one full of disco music. So there you go. That's repairing the little light bulb sockets. Like I said, simple little thing. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but... This is the kind of stuff we run into on a lot of things. Um, you have to improvise a little bit, and you can't find the original parts. you got to use something similar, blah, 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 blah. But there you are. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, whenever we get this jukebox up and running completely, which will be soon, we'll, update a, we'll upload a video for that as well. So we will see you on the next video.